Good evening. When St. Tammany Parish Sheriff Jack Strain left office in 2016, he received a $24,000 payout for unused sick and annual leave. But there are questions tonight about whether he got more than he deserved. A federal grand jury appears to be asking that same question. Investigative reporter Katie Moore explains. Federal prosecutors requested a mountain of documents from the St. Tammany Parish Sheriff's Office in March about former Sheriff Jack Strain. Line 7 of the subpoena asks for all documents related to a payout strain received for unused annual leave, the sheriff's office version of sick and vacation time. Records obtained by Eyewitness News show strain was paid $24,318.50 for unused annual leave when he left office. WWL-TV legal analyst Pauline Hardin says the U.S. attorney will want to answer three questions. The first thing they're going to want to know is, is he even entitled to receive this leave? Uh, and if he is, then did he, did he um, properly document that he was entitled to the leave? And did he, was he paid the right amount uh, based on the leave that he was actually entitled to? When former St. Tammany Parish coroner Peter Galvin was indicted, prosecutors said Galvin did not earn sick or annual leave as an elected official. One of the counts against him was for taking $111,000 in a sick and vacation payout he wasn't entitled to. He pleaded guilty in 2013. Over the years, legal opinions from the Louisiana Attorney General have blurred the line, saying elected officials are employees of the agency they head. And like the rest of the employees, they can accumulate sick and vacation time if formal records are maintained to reflect that the leave was accrued and unused. In Strain's case, sources say Strain and his top deputies did not fill out daily timesheets, but records show he did document leave taken since 2012. But was he entitled to that $24,000 final payout? St. Tammany Sheriff's employees with more than 15 years of service earn 208 hours of annual leave a year. And the STPSO policy says when they leave, they can only be paid that amount. Strain was paid for 360 hours, not 208. That could mean he was paid $10,267 more than he was due. Sheriff Randy Smith stopped accruing leave six months after he took office. An internal email indicates he cut it off at the recommendation of the Louisiana Sheriff's Association, which discourages sheriffs around the state from taking it. Katie Moore, Eyewitness News. Strain didn't return a call seeking comment. This story was developed with our partners at the New Orleans Advocate. You can read more online or in tomorrow's newspaper.